क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद दर्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग वेर वी हैव the various parameters associated with the microwave signal generated and further processed and propagated through the different components so we have seen the vswr which is the very important information regarding the microwave signal in the bounded medium so it is voltage standing wave ratio that we have measurement technique studied for the low type of the vswr and the high values of the vswr with the help of double minima method we have also solved few of the four selected problems based on to the vswr measurements power measurement frequency measurement are also covered and we have been introduced to the practical devices which are helpful to all these these are nothing but the slotted line the tunable detector the power meter we have been introduced to the wave meter is also introduced now let us have introduction to what the device is called as spectrum analyzer so here we start with our topic the topic is titled introduction to the spectrum analyzer so the name of the device or the component you can say is spectrum analyzer the second term of this title is analyzer so it means it is used for certain kind of analysis here so now the first term that we see spectrum so the term spectrum refers to the frequency here generally a plot of amplitude versus the frequency we call it to be the spectrum for a corresponding signal here generally when we have the two axes to represent graphically the information associated with the signal so when we take time as a parameter on to the horizontal axis and amplitude on to the vertical axis the representation of the signal information we can call into the time domain so for example from the practical devices in the laboratory if we are making the use of cathode ray oscilloscope CRO so in the CRO the representation of the signal information with the type of waves here that we see here amplitude versus time here so this is the time domain representation the device we can categorize to be of the time domain type here whereas if we take the amplitude same on to the vertical axis but on to the horizontal axis the representation with respect to its corresponding frequency value so that time we can call this type of representation to be the frequency domain representation here so the spectrum analyzer is a device that is representing the information associated with the microwave signal at our case in the frequency domain here so hence the name frequency referring to the term spectrum and with the help of this device the further analysis for the frequency values can be made hence the name spectrum analyzer so here basically while we switch from time domain to the frequency domain the information lies the same but the wave of representation is different there so for example the periodic signal as like the sine wave into the frequency wave is represented in the frequency domain represented by a single segment here so here the amplitude lies to the same value as it has been represented into the time domain where the horizontal axis was time and as it has a constant frequency so this will be the simple value of the frequency at only one component so information is same but the ways of representation are different hence for the spectrum analyzer we can see such a plot where corresponding to the frequency values the origin at the center towards the positive and the negative values we can have the plot of amplitude so the number of frequency components into the signal if it is of hybrid type we can get calculated with the help of the spectrum analyzer in general we can say so basically the spectrum analyzer 
is having the structure very similar to that of the super heterodyne receiver. For the super heterodyne receiver, for the spectrum analyzer here, this is the block diagram where we have the provision to provide the input signal to the first block that is connected to the input type of the attenuator here. So at the input type of the attenuator, whatever the power associated with the input microwave signal, it will be into the controlled desired limit there. So after input attenuator, we have the input tracking filter also, whereupon we can have the rejection of the unwanted frequency components. Next to that, we have mixer. The another signal to the mixer is fed as input from the swept local oscillator and it is from the sweep voltage generator and with the help of the RF amplifier of the narrow band type further the detector video amplifier we can have the spectrum of the signal to be displayed here. So here we have the amplitude axis the frequency parameter the F1 parameter FS parameter at this particular one or in terms of decibels also we can have the display here. So by the next lecture we shall continue into the same chapter to see introduction to the another topic called as network analyzer here. So I hope you enjoy learning the topics of microwave engineering. For more such information and the details you can subscribe to eKeda channel. Thank you.